Hi there! Welcome to part 3 of the video series on moving your physical body. Now, I'm going to make sure that I don't you know, keep you for too much longer. As you will have listened to in part 2, we went through the Holy Trinity of Love, you know, how you can think love, speak love and do love in the context of moving your body, right? And the one concluding um, comment that I think I have, which I didn't mention in part 2, and I will talk about it as I just shuffle some of these cards to see if um, the beautiful spirit and angels and archangels have anything else to add to this subject, right? And that was all about, um, you know, the, the power of prayer, okay? So, um, I am a big proponent of praying um, because I think it's an act of love in itself. Now, if you don't... Um, if you don't resonate with the word prayer, I genuinely think it's very much equivalent to thinking, but you're obviously thinking with a bit of intention. You're thinking about some someone or something that you believe in, whatever that might be, God, Asna, angels, archangels, spirits, ancestors, um, you know, Jesus or any one of the other ascended masters that you may that you may um, believe in. And so, if you are um, in any part of your uh, journey in terms of moving your body, whether you are planning on doing it, um, perhaps struggling for motivation to get up and you know do something for yourself, or you're in the process of actually you know exercises or, move, or exercising or moving your body, pray for some help and assistance during that process. Um, you know, uh, there were times during a personal training session that I'm sitting on that bike, I'm doing my cardio, and I feel like, you know, my body's screaming at me, you've had enough. Well, the trigger for me is to write, well, I'll just pray for some strength. And it's a couple of seconds, and it's done. And it makes me feel better, and encourages me to keep going. Likewise, if you are struggling for motivation to move, for whatever reason, you know, everyone's circumstances are so different and unique. Um, perhaps um, pray or address um, whoever it is that you believe in and ask for some physical signs or some physical evidence to be sent your way in order to give you a, a direction or the next practical step that you could take on your journey to actually um, doing a bit of movement in your body. And when you send out that intention, you know, be receptive, receptive to anything that may come your way. The universe talks to us in a variety of ways, be that through, you know, lyrics in the song or a line in the book you might be reading or, you know, notifications or pop-ups on your phone, like social media channels or emails um, or random conversation you just overhear. Uh, on any other way, quite frankly, or even something I may have said in you know part one or part two or this part of the video series. So just trust that the answer will come, um, and it will feel like a bit of an aha moment when it does. And you know, ultimately, I encourage people to practice love. You know, and that's thinking, speaking, or doing love. And I'm sure that if you just think about that as a principle, even if some of the suggestions or practical tips I, I mentioned during the course of this video series do not quite, you know, uh, feel as uh, inspiring to you, then just think about the principle, you know, meditate upon that, pray on the principle of love and practicing love. And whatever comes your way, um, whatever answer pops up, just trust in that that's probably your spirit speaking to you, giving you ideas and some uh, wisdom as to what you might be able to do next in your journey of moving your own body. So with that in mind, let's have a look if um, any messages come through on the subject of moving our bodies, spirit angels, archangels, you know, divine mother, God and Asna, and anybody else who is listening and overseeing this. Right now, please send through any messages. All right, we've got a couple of cards that have fallen through, and I'm going to have a look at those and see if what messages come through. So we've got a three of cups, um, and we've got three birds sitting on a branch here together. So the first element 
oh sorry the first message that comes through especially with the scar is is the uh, is the power of a group of people together especially your friends and i think this is actually a lovely message just to remind everybody out there that you know if um you are uh, s similar to me, you know, anxious about having a coach or a mentor or somebody else out there telling you what to do, but you need that element of accountability, you know, having effectively like a booked meeting with somebody in order to keep moving your body. Well, you can obviously sign up to a, a, a meeting or some kind of regular um, event or a regular calendar and like with your friends and your dear ones or your family members, your loved ones, somebody with whom you can actually be, you know, vulnerable and comfortable and it might do the same trick, you know, instead of having a personal trainer, you simply have your family or member or friends waiting for you to do some kind of movement with it, with you. And or you can sign up to classes together, right? You know, if it's not a run or a jog or a walk. You know, you can sign up to a multitude of classes out there, some group classes, and have fun. You know, you go do some dancing, for instance, with your loved ones. That's a fun one. That's a fantastic and lovely um, activity to move your body. Now, the next one we've got here is the Daughter of Pentacles. It's um, a beautiful little reindeer. And there's a beautiful, beautiful rainbow above her head. And... The instant thing that comes into my head, um, I'm actually more focusing um, on the on the rainbow above the animal, you know, and the animal is is the most obvious, I suspect, in everybody's minds. Um, example of a moving object, right? Animals do a lot more running, a lot more movement, perhaps, than us humans, and so no doubt that's why we've got the daughter pinnacle come through. But I'm I'm more interested in the rainbow, and the rainbow is a sign of um, light, right? So light comes through and it spreads into all these the, the beautiful spectrum of color that comes through from what light. And in my world, I love rainbows. Rainbows are a sign of light. I instantly think of light. You know, the source we're all made up of light, and the in the context of physical movement and the context of this video series it's more of a sign or confirmation that hey the more movement you do in your life the more kinetic energy you effectively um, bring into fruition on, on planet earth and the universe has your back because I suspect this is what means of being in alignment with some of the universal truths or universal laws and the one I mentioned in part one in particular which is everything or atoms that we're all made up that we are all made of are in continuous movement and so the more movement you can have the more aligned you will be with the universe and the last card we've got here is justice actually so it is number eight justice We've got a black and a white cat here, and if I just um, put it down for a second, just to see what comes my way. So we've got a white cat and a black cat here, with a sword in between them, and uh, they've got their beautiful tails around planet Earth, and lots and lots of rainbow colors coming through, so... I'm not going to mention the rainbow part um, just yet. Justice actually is a sign of balance. Okay, so yes, it's you know like a uh, the the statue of justice has the Libra of the scales in her hands. So balance, what's coming to my mind, and so of course, perhaps they're just um, trying to inform. The audience that if you do more movement you take care of your physical body through movement that's one way of taking care of your body there will be more balance in your life as a whole a white cat and black cat I'm just thinking you know day or night um, day or night you are able to move and in fact you're constantly moving right so um, even when you're sleeping your body is still undergoing through a lot of processes. Your organs are doing fantastic things even during your sleep, right? So you are always welcome to 
think love and speak love and do love any time of the day, be that the dark night or during the day, you're able to do that. Yeah, so I think with that in mind, these are the three cards. I don't want to drag out this video series for any longer than I need to. Now, um, just in terms of um, moving forward, if there is anything you can comment on that may have resonated with you during this video series, you know, please do share if any of the practical tips or any part of my personal story that I have shared as to movement of your body, um, something that you might have liked hearing or you might have not liked hearing, please comment down below. I will definitely be very appreciative of anything you might have to share with me. Um, I do um, want to note that I made a commitment to actually donate 22% of my income and earnings as the loving soul, aka Victoria, to charities and noble causes. So the more you watch this kind of um, the videos, the more you share them, you like them, you subscribe to this channel, I genuinely will appreciate your support and together we will multiply the lot to so many others out there. With that note, you know, last departing comment is that look, everybody's journey in terms of their physical exercise and movement of their body is very unique and it will definitely change as the seasons of your life change. So much can happen, right? And our bodies age as well and you need to take that into consideration as well whenever you actually go out and decide to move your body. So everybody's journey is extremely unique. Please take what resonates with you and just apply any suggestions that I have made to your particular circumstances because you know your body best. With that in mind, all the very best. I hope you have a lovely day. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.